So we're doing a yeah, video session okay. for the YouTube channel and we're going to be live on Facebook as well. Sorry about that. Yeah. Can you hear us? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Ready. Okay. Good morning, Patrick Bruel. Good morning. You're here to present us a bag of marbles at Cocoa this year. Uh, what made you decide to do this movie? Mm, many reasons. Um, first of all, I was I was not so sure that I wanted to be uh, another time in a, in a movie about this, this this moment of our story, because I've already done uh, a secret, and uh, there are so many movies about it. And I said, is it um, another movie uh, or is it an important movie? And I think it's an important movie. The I was happy to f to, to see that uh, Christian Didier has been a, has chosen two fantastic kids to play the part because without those kids, the movie could not be the same. And when he showed me the the auditions on an iPad. I was almost crying seeing just an audition in a restaurant like this on an iPad. I said, this kid is just amazing. And I, I will be very happy to share something with, with him. And about World War II, uh, there's many movies. But there is not so many movies which are at the, the point of view of change. And that was very important for me. Can you remind us in a few words and for the audience, just the story? The story. Story. 1942, France. Two kids has to leave Paris in the middle of the night in half an hour because uh, the Germans and the French police are going to take to take all the Jews to to that night. So uh, the father, who is a visionary, uh, visionary, is it visionary? visionary uh, decide to send his children alone in the middle of the night with some money, a map, and advices. And the most important advice is to say to never say for any reason that they are Jewish. And he tries to prepare them at any situation with a very, very strong seal. Uh, and we have to precise that it's a real true story. Because if it's not a true story, there's no movie. Because who is the father who, is, who, is, who has this vision to, to let his kids going alone in the middle of the night? Because he knows if he goes with them, they're all going to die. Um, I'm not sure I would be able to do that. I'm not sure. So you said the reason why you accepted this project was when you were convinced by seeing these kids. How is it to work with these two kids uh, on set on such a emotional and difficult story? I've been working with two uh, unbelievable actors. They are just fantastic actors because they, they did this movie during 12 weeks with the same, uh, the same smile, the same way of working. The same, I know, I know my line every day. I'm on time every day. I'm totally uh, ready for anything. I listen to the director. I try to do my best. I, it's, those kids are amazing. And, and, and that scene that I have with him with the slaps, uh, I wanted, I wanted to, be, to be good. I wanted to be as good as him because I knew how big, how, how great he was. And uh, I've worked with many, many actors in my life. It's maybe one of the best actors I've, I've, I've ever worked with. And I was very impressed. But most of it, I think this movie is important. Uh, and why I did it, it's the real reason is I, I we, have, uh, we are now 70 years after what happened. And 70 years, it's the moment we, try, we, we start to forget. And we made a lot of uh, uh, meetings in class, uh, in France, in schools. And we were talking with kids like 11, 12 years old which were very shocked by the movie, and we were asking very strong questions uh, at the end, in the Q&A. And uh, the questions, the, the most important question, why? Did but this really happen? Um, but why, why did they do this to them? Only because they were Jewish? Yes, only because they were Jewish. Well, but why? Blah, 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 blah. And I said, if people who are supposed to explain you the World War II don't do their job really strong and, and enough. Uh, that is the consequences. Because if you 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 uh, you fly over the World War II 
uh, and you don't go through the, the, the causes, which is the crisis of 29. Uh, if you don't explain the crisis of 29, you can't explain the World War II and what happened in all Europe and all America and then Europe. Uh, and if you don't explain this, you don't explain the crisis in 2008 that we just had and the consequences of this crisis which are, are making us today, today, 10 days before the election in France, we are all very scared of seeing Marine Le Pen being president uh, because uh, uh, it's possible. It's possible. So, uh, and and it's all all over Europe. The extreme right goes all over Europe uh, and everywhere. And uh, uh, repli sur soi. How can we say repli sur soi? It's so complicated. Uh, yeah. But what happened? Uh, but there are, to say the truth, there are a bit older. Because what we did in France was with younger people, younger mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. from 12 to uh, 11 to 13. Here they are like 16, 17, so, so probably they, are, they know a bit better now. We feel it's very personal for you to be in that movie and to promote it. Uh, and you just mentioned the, the danger of forgetting because now this generation is no longer here. What's next for this generation and the next one? How can we... Is it through only movies? Is it are it's you going to do more it, like it, this? Of we, ha we all have to do our duty of memory. And the great Steven Spielberg, like the great director, the great man, is after Shield, at least, he took uh, uh, some like 250 uh, GRI uh, with cameras, going to interview the survivors of the camps uh, to have uh, to have this testimony. And all those testimonies are in Yad Vashem in, in Jerusalem. And uh, for the for the for the memory for the story, this is a, a fantastic. It's a really responsible and unbelievable uh, act uh, that he did, and we all have to do that. We all have to remind the what happened and why, why it happened, why, where does it come from, at what moment the people get totally crazy, what at what moment one man or two or three decide. Uh, to, to exterminate uh, uh, six yeah. We have a lot of people this morning, so I'm going to leave uh, the floor for questions. Um,